Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we will see how to connect to Azure SQL database from Azure Data Studio. So when you have a requirement to connect it from your Azure Data Studio, how you are going to do that, the complete steps we will see as part of this video tutorial. One more thing is that while connecting, there is there might be a chance that you will get this error, okay? And in, an instance specific error occurred while establishing a connection to SQL Server. So basically, you might get this error while trying to connect your Azure SQL database from Azure Data Studio. Okay, so for this particular error, how to fix this one? I have already made one more separate video. That video link, I'm going to put it in the video description that you can just check out to fix this er error if you are getting this error, okay? Otherwise, you can just uh, go ahead and connect to your Azure SQL database with the steps that we are going to discuss as part of this video tutorial, okay? Let me navigate to Azure Data Studio where we will try to connect it, connect the uh, Azure SQL database, okay? Now, what we'll do is, I will just go here and search for Azure Data Studio. You can able to see here the search result. Click on that. The moment you will do that, you will see this Azure Data Studio pop up, right? So this tool will open. Now what you need to do is to connect to Azure SQL DB, just click on the new drop down and click on new connection. Okay. Now, see, you can choose input type as parameters or you can also provide the connection string okay and make sure that the connection type is microsoft sql server and here what we need is so here what we will do is we will go with these parameters not the connection string but you can also choose connection string and from the azure portal you will get the connection string and put it here it will work for you okay now one more the important thing is we need to provide the server name here okay and for that what i'll do is let me navigate to azure portal where i will you can able to see here i have already logged into azure portal and this is the azure license db that i have already created uh, the sql database right azure sql database and if you'll see in the overview tab this is the server name okay just copy that I will just copy this. You can able to see a copy button just next to the server name. Just click on that. It will copy to the clipboard. Okay. Now go here and I will paste the server name here. Okay. Now, while creating this Azure SQL database, I didn't choose as Windows authentication. What I choose, or I didn't even choose the SQL, SQL server authentication. What I choose is I have chosen Microsoft enter ID during that time. Okay. That's why I'm choosing it here. And if you have, if you have done that time SQL login or something, you have chosen that option, then probably to, you know, you have to provide the username password that you have provided during the creation time, right? So I will go with this Microsoft enter ID. And here, uh, this is the account for me. Okay. Let it be like this and nothing else. I'll just go ahead and click on the connect button. See, I was talking about that error, right? After clicking on this connect button, there might be a chance you will get that error, okay? As I told that I have made a separate video for that. You can check out. I'll put it in the video description. You will, uh, you will see how to fix that error, okay? Uh, and this time we are able to connect to our Azure SQL database successfully, okay? So you can able to see here, this is the server name and inside that we have the default master DB as well as Azure License DB, right? So we are able to connect to our Azure SQL database successfully from the Azure Data Studio. And that's it for today. I thought to show you quickly how to connect to our Azure SQL database from Azure Data Studio, okay? And if you have not installed Azure Data Studio yet, I have already written one article on that, how to install, I mean, download and install the Azure Data Studio. 
I will put that article link also in the video description. You can check out and install Azure Data Studio. Then you can try to connect to your Azure SQL database. If you have not created the Azure SQL database also, I have created one more article I have written. That link also I am going to put it in the video description. You can just check out and create your Azure SQL database. And thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free videos on different Azure articles, different helpful Azure PowerShell commands and Azure CLI commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.